roof somewhere. So it's hard to tell what was here at one time. This place is pretty well overgrown. Take a look around here and see what we can find. Some kind of farm machinery or something over here in the woods. Growed up in the, all these pine trees. Now we'll go ahead and say these pine trees hurt. Okay, it's an old garden plow you pull behind the tractor. It's left here to rust and rot away. An old tractor tire. Part of an old chimney that's falling off the side of this barn. Hollow old wood. We need to reclaim something like that. And this was a lot larger than it looks. The two story it is completely falling in and I'm telling what was in there. Wow. See the old stairs underneath there. Let's get around to the front, see if there's anything interesting we can see inside. Looking at this old shed here. It's full of pallets and stacks of lumber and stuff around here, an old barrel. But the really interesting thing is as we pan over here, look what we have in the weeds. Let's go get a closer down this hill here. An old brush wheel. Looks homemade. That's pretty cool. I'll be careful stepping over here. Don't want to jostle up a snake or anything. Uh, inside here. Probably not the safest place to be standing. Man, it could be old car or anything back in here. It's amazing. Oh, it's a painting on the wall. Can't tell what it was, it's mostly gone, but it looks like it might have went all the way back. Really neat. And this is cool too. An old door. Looks like somebody never did finish it. That almost hurt. No table saw. A lot of neat stuff. Now we're gonna take a look at this truck. Let me get over closer to it. Look at this old grindstone. That's really neat. I don't really know if it's a grindstone or part of a decoration or what. Now it looks like it's made out of concrete. It's part of some decoration. old Chevy five window. Wow. All the, most all the woods rotted out of the bed. It's actually not in terrible shape. Pretty rough inside though. I'd say it's been a long time. Back part of the sea's not too bad. Old letters. That's a cool setup. But we'll fix something like this up. There is the front of it. That is cool little spot here. There's more on the other side. Let's okay, after a brief walk through the woods a little bit. I come up to what I don't know if is the house to this place or what, but let's see, not that old toolbox in here. But we look up here, the old, looks like kind of a farmhouse here. A 
one of the windows in here. Almost looks like I don't know if somebody's trying to remodel it or what. It's definitely abandoned now. Ramp feels good and solid. Don't know how these floors are going to be in here. Pretty well gutted. Lower floors look decent though. Let's climb over here and take a look. Okay. We're inside of a rather weak floored house here. Always Sorry be about careful. that. I dropped the phone and stopped recording for a second. But we're back. Um, there's actually newer hardly yet. Yeah, really looks like somebody was trying to fix this place up. Wow. Oh, back here's the old fireplace. Looks like someone had a heater in here instead of burning wood. Got probably what was a front, maybe bedroom. I'm guessing this is probably a living room. Or maybe this was, I'm not sure. This floor looks pretty weak here. Now that is neat. It looks like inside of a piano, if you ask me. I don't know. Y'all comment on that if you know exactly what that is. Let's see what it says on it. Lester Piano Company. Philadelphia and Lester. Established 1888. Hmm. Old hard hat. This is kind of creepy looking. Got post hole diggers. There's a lot of tools and stuff was left behind here. I'm assuming this was the bathroom. Judging by the pipes and everything. Okay, the floor is really shaky here. I'll take my time and walk into the kitchen. But if I fall through the floor, I definitely want it recorded. <laughs> I can tell you right now, that used to be an old chimney. Stay over here, this feels a little safer. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but it drops about a foot right there. The corner of that wall isn't even touching it. Well, I'd say four or five inches, probably not a foot. Yeah. Another hole on the floor. What's left of the back porch? Let's see, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's isn't. Looks like some sort of structure over here in the weeds. And I see something back here too. We'll go outside and check it out here. Well, that's dirt. That's real. Oh. You know, you know what that is? That's the plaster from the walls, it looks like. It looks like they just dumped it all back here. Wild style overgrown back here. You can hear cars going because the highway is just over the hill there. A lot of people probably don't know this place exists. Family guy Star Trek. The scene where they're moving the couch. The only decent looking remnant left in this house is this chandelier. I have found the toilet. An old Japanese lantern. Just spoke with the neighbors here. They come to make sure I wasn't vandalizing or nothing like that here or looting. Um, 
but uh, I was able to talk to him a little bit about the history of the house. He said that the uh, house was actually built in 1937 by a family that moved from old lost city of Lewiston, which is a town that basically was covered up by North Lake back in the 30s. Um, when they put in the lake, it just lost the whole town, everything was gone. So uh, Google search that, check it out. It's uh, the lost city of Lewiston. Um, but they also informed me that there is a few more buildings here that we can try to check out if we can even get to them. A uh, storage building, a workshop, and a uh, greenhouse. A pretty large greenhouse, from what they tell me. That was actually moved here from the University of Tennessee. So uh, we'll see if we can get to it, see what we can do. But as you can see, it is a jungle to get through. Right through those trees, I see the roof of something. So let's get through here and see what we can find. Okay, that was an ordeal. But we are over here. I can see the greenhouse over there. We got a building here and a building there. Lots of old windows and glass around the sides here. Tree growing out from the bottom of this building. Okay, sorry about all the shakiness there. Old box fan, it's really old. Okay, I'm to the entrance of what appears to be an old storage shed. After a whole lot of fighting and clawing. It's like an old axe handle. Oh yeah, I didn't say where we go. Those people I talked to said that uh, the old man that used to live here was framed art for people. And that he had a lot of art frames at different times. Right beside the door I found some pieces of artwork that's been framed by whoever lived here. No names on the back. We got some more over here. Hang on, let me get them out. Okay. Got a horse. Per, let's see, per bomb or ri, rim bomb. Too bad it don't say Rembrandt. This is all destroyed in here. Let's slide this out from the door. I don't take anything that doesn't belong to me, but it looks as if there's artwork stacked all in here. Even back here in those boxes, because that's what's in these boxes here, is different artwork. Crazy. Here is what is left of the greenhouse. So this greenhouse was brought here in the mid 70s and it was part of the University of Tennessee Agriculture Department. So that's pretty neat. These people love this stuff so much they brought it here and reassembled it on this property. As you can see, it's mostly falling down. Lots of trash and stuff in here. A really old mattress. That is disgusting. How'd you like to sleep on that for a night? There's old pots still hanging with potting soil still in them. That's crazy. Lots of busted glass laying around here. And the spider. 
Whoops. Wonder what all they grew. Probably flowers and stuff here. The walls are all gone, except for the back here. Excuse me, I got stuck there for a second. This old lamp. I don't know if that's really that old or if it's just some trash somebody threw in here. I'm not a lamp expert, so I wouldn't know. Well, I believe that's going to be all that we have here. Like I said, the old workshop, they said there wasn't really anything left but a bunch of trash and it had the roof's fallen in on it, so it's not really safe to even get into, nor could I even really get to the door of it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep coming out more and more videos. And uh, you guys have a blessed day. Thanks.